They make them noises just to put fear in the opponent's heart. <laughs> All that breathing. They want you to think they punching so fast like Bruce Lee. <laughs> that ain't nothing. That's a nigga making that noise with his mouth. And if you fall for it, that's you. I'm going to eat it. So Rick Ross, he trying to show off his boxing skills. Tell me some, the boxers making all that, all that noise when they punching, just a facade. Like they just trying to act like their punch is strong. Like tell me some, he gonna eat that punch. Yo, Rick Ross, if you want a rapper, bro, he can be a goddamn comedian. But one thing that I do salute Rick Ross for is weight loss. Like he, of course, he didn't get super slim, but from from the look he he was back in 2011, 2012. He lost at least 75 to 100 pounds, at least. So I know over the past couple of years, he been good. But back in 2018, he had a health scare. And then literally, like, I literally got scared for Ross. Like, I always liked Ross ever since, like, 2010, 2011. But I never knew how much I cared about Ross when I heard about that health scare. Yeah, I'm just glad he's doing good, losing weight. He needed to tell DJ Khaled fat ass. To work out because he always tell me something. We the best. We the best. Nigga, lose some weight. <laughs> yeah, man. We all need to lose some weight. I know I need to lose me some damn weight, but yeah, man. Rick Ross, he he doing good. Everything he do look like is perfection, you know. And he worked his way up to this. He's like the most consistent rapper that I listen to when the album come out. He got like hella classics. He dope. He always doing something new. He got a most beautiful estate in Georgia, man. What I would give to have a house like that one day, man. Anyway, salute to Rick Ross, man. At least he's staying healthy and active, man. These other rappers need to follow suit. What y'all think about this, your boy B? I'm out.